everyone and welcome to another video brought to you by Coric Group. In this video I'm going to show you how to attach a DXF drawing in your layers. So literally if you wanted to add a map and um, where to go to put it on. Okay so first off I have a project created and I'm using uh, Trimble Access 2021.20 uh, but it's similar all the way up from 2018 all the way up. Um, some of the icons might have been updated, but it's the same principle um, to add um, a drawing. Okay, so once you've a uh, project set up, so I have one called Coric, it open there. I'm going to go new job, and I'm just going to call this um, Car Park KK. In the templates here, uh, I've set up uh, Ireland, so you can go in there and select your appropriate um, coordinate system for the drawing so the drawing has to be referenced to the site or if you're just using total station you can just use scale of one so you'll see here you'll have layer manager uh, a lot of people will be used to active map so we have a new layer manager and then currently in there it says none so if you went even not in there and accepted and accepted and brought you into the map screen and you're like oh how do I go back out to um, review that you can go into your menu, into your job, and then down there at the bottom of your screen, you'll have the properties. So you can go back in there into your map if you forget to add your drawing. So usually you add your drawing in, you can either download it from a server or you can plug in your USB key once the drawing is actually on the controller itself. So you go into layer manager and here's uh, files that are copied in. So in the layer manager, it gives you an option to go into point files, maps, scans if you have an SX12, inspections filters and features so if they're uh, not in that folder and you can't uh, you haven't copied them there you can also browse and go to find the drawing if it's not in your list here so you'll see that car park is here dxf so if you wanted to um, click that to see it you tick the button once to make it uh, just review it and then when you select it twice with a box around it it indicates that it's active that you can select from it okay so once that's uh, selected you hit accept accept again and now you've one map when you open it there's the map there so literally when I select a line here it's it's highlighted okay so another option of uh, doing the same thing is going into your layer manager here with so your two pages here so your layer manager so when you select, select that, it'll open up the layer manager here on the right hand side. So you can drag and uh, pull that screen if you needed it big or small or if you wanted to check the location where it is, the size of it, or you wanted to see maybe the, the name. So you can see there as well that I can turn it off. And for example, if I want to see a pond, that a uh, surface file. So this is where all the files get stored. So literally I have a surface file. So for layer manager, you can have a multiple of different file types. So we have TTM, so for surface, you can have just a standard CAD drawn. So if I go into the top view, there's my CAD drawn. You can also have a, a we'd say a 3D model, be it an IFC or a TRB file. So I select that. Okay, so if I go into my selections, so I'm happy with that drawn, it's activated. And I uh, say, right, I want to select whatever number of things here. So you'll notice I'm clicking here now and nothing's happening. Nothing's highlighting. That's because I have it only in the view mode. So when I click it again, now I have all stuff highlighted. Okay. If you highlight a load of stuff and you want to deselect them all, there's a couple options. You can double tap the screen anywhere in the open and it'll deselect. Or else if you hold down the screen there, you can go clear selection okay so that's how you add in your drawn so if you want to add in a drawn or a surface file or even a surface file and a drawn you can go into your layer manager okay thanks for your time goodbye